Hey beautiful people, I'm Sharon, also known as Mrs. Q. Welcome and thank you for joining me today. As you'll know, or if you're new here, I'm intentionally having a low to know by 2021. And what that means for me is using what I already have and actively moving away from frivolous spending and very specifically not buying any more clothes, shoes, bags and accessories for at least a year. I've had these glasses for a couple of years now and although I really like the style, the main reason why I'm getting rid of them is because they have become quite worn uh, and quite scratched up. Also they don't have the um, any coating or filters on them and as time goes on I am feeling the effects of not having that additional protection on my lenses so when I get my new ones I probably will invest in all those coatings and all the fancy stuff that they add to your prescription for you. I did actually go to the opticians just the other day and it's a good thing that I did go especially if I am going to be investing in what is now looking like a couple of pairs of glasses because my prescription has actually changed even though only slightly, I know it definitely will make a difference wearing glasses that are in fact at the correct prescription. This is going to be my third set of trial glasses. They are from uh, Glasses Direct and as previously I've shown to you, it does come in a box, a postable box like this. As you can see from the size of it, it should fit through most regular size uh, post boxes. The trial is completely free provided you return the trial glasses within seven days. I'm yet to fail to return the glasses or return them late so I'm not sure what the charges they levy against you if you don't return them in time are and you know what I'm not trying to find out what they are because <laughs> it's just a needless waste of money not sending them back in time. I think seven days is an ample amount of time uh, in which to try on your glasses, get a good feel for them, see if you like them or not and return them. They also provide you with a tracked returns label that looks like this. So as I say, it's completely a free home trial. You will, I have to say, see when you place the order for your trial glasses, they generally tend to do sort of like this, I don't know whether it's they're checking that you entered the correct bank details or what have you but you may see a one pound transaction show up uh, on your bank account. I don't think they actually take that from your account um, as it's just to check that your account is valid. They come packed in a box that looks like this and each pair is individually wrapped in a ziplock bag and some of them do have these little protective sleeves on the arms when you receive them. Just looking at these now in the lens I can see they're all a very uh, similar shade ranging from brown to almost like a clear pale champagne -y gold colour. So good thing I have my gold accessories on today. I'm not much of a gold um, girl but as time's going on I'm trying to you know just get a feel for other things and see what else looks good on me. So onto the first pair of glasses which we're starting from highest price to lowest price. This one is called Brook and it's in the color shiny gold. This is what they look like close up and if you can see I think these ones even just as a trial pair have come with some sort of a protective coat on them whether it's anti-scratch or anti-glare I'm not entirely sure. Let's see, it is a gold frame, quite a shiny gold frame, and it has these pale pink ends on the arms over here. Again, it does have these um, nose pads on it, which I think I've said previously I'm not a huge fan of, but you know what, if I do like the style enough, I will have to just deal with it. <laughs> so. This is what these ones look like. This is what they look like up close. As you can see, they're quite a shiny 
finish to the frame. Very gold, they've got this crisscross detail here in the middle. They're not sitting as straight as I would like them to just now, but I think that's probably because I would need to still adjust the little nose pads on the inside of them. Now, if you've seen my other video, you'll see I've tried on two other pairs of gold glasses as well. Um, and I think I probably like those ones quite a bit better than these ones. And as well, these ones are 59 pounds, especially when I'm trying to have a low to no by year. I don't think I can justify spending 59 pounds on a pair of glasses that, to be perfectly honest, in terms of cost per wear, is unlikely to get that much wear. No, I definitely don't like these. Okay, so this is them. And yeah, no, I think these, I think I can quite happily say these are a no. <laughs> Next up, uh, in terms of, um, we're going from cost high to low. The next pair are these ones from Ted Baker. They're called Noble. This is what they look like. They're sort of like a turquoise, no, not turquoise, sorry, tortoise shell. <laughs> I think it's called tortoise shell, uh, or even in fact, hornbill. I'm not entirely sure. The packaging refers to them as amber horn, but I think this is just a made up Ted Baker color, as you do. Now, the front is quite shiny, and the arms are a kind of tan matte color and have the Ted Baker branding just here on the end of them. I have said in previous videos that I'm not a huge fan of where the front of the frame and the arms are two different colors. So I'm not sure these are going to be much of a contender when it comes to being selected and put in the basket when I do finally come to buying them. They are quite comfortable, surprisingly. Um, but I think that maybe because they're men's glasses, so they're slightly bigger, I believe, than women's glasses would be. Yeah, they feel quite wide. And they don't kind of sit heavily on the back of my ears and they don't sit too heavily here as well on my cheekbones, which I find quite a few other pairs of glasses do. And especially when I smile, they do this up and down thing here. So <laughs> if I smile now, you see they just stayed right in place. So maybe for that alone, I may try on a couple of pairs of men's glasses in future just to get a better shape and size of them. Hopefully they won't look too big in the front, but then I guess big glasses are a thing these days. Um, yeah, I think they're all right. Don't love them. And I don't know that I would spend 55 pounds on them either. Maybe if they were on offer, like buy one, get one free plus 50% off, <laughs> these ones might end up in the basket. But for now, I think I'm going to say no to these ones. Next up, we have uh, a pair that I tried on previously in another trial. This one, if you remember it, is called Ali. And I tried it on in the crystal pink color. And this is it in crystal beige. And I really, really, really liked the crystal pink ones. So let's see what these ones look like. Okay. Now I really like the shape of them. And they're very, very shiny. They're more like of a crystal gem champagne kind of color. I quite like that. Um, I do like the color, but at the same time, I'm just wondering if I'm going to get them in the crystal pink, if I would want to have two of the same pair. I do want to have a bit of a variety when it comes to my glasses, but I do I like these quite a lot. Could definitely be a contender and as I say for 20 pounds it's a purchase that I definitely would not quarrel about <laughs> yeah I'm liking these quite a bit but as I say the pink ones 
did it a bit more for me so we will keep these ones in mind and add them to my list of favorites <laughs> the last pair that I'm going to try on are actually quite similar to the ones I've just tried on the alley ones and it's these ones at the top they're called Courtney and if you can see here even in terms of the color they're slightly darker and the frame is slightly more square than the alley ones here at the bottom they do have different color arms Again, I think it's called tortoise shell. I might be getting this all completely wrong. <laughs> and even though I have said previously that I'm not a huge fan of where the front of the glass is and the arms are two different colors, these cost nine pounds and are the most inexpensive pair of the whole lot. And while I wouldn't quarrel about the previous pair, which were 20 pound, this one, I wouldn't even bat an eyelid if these ones ended up in the basket. <laughs> I think they're really pretty. And here they are a bit closer up. And as you can see, that arm is a different color. like close up I think in terms of the color of the rims I do like it better than this alley in that these ones I have on are darker and they're not as shiny as these ones these look like you've I don't know, they're very I say I guess they are called crystal beige so they're super 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 shiny and these ones the color of them is let me have a quick look it's called beige havana so this is a courtney in beige havana and they are nine pounds i quite like these and i think they're a strong contender for the ones that i do eventually end up buying <laughs> So with all four pairs of glasses tried on and 12 in total being that this is my third trial, I think I am getting a bit closer to making a decision as to which glasses I'm going to go with. I'm just waiting for them to have a good offer on which they did a couple of um, a couple of days ago. I think it was buy one get one free plus 50% or 40% off and that works out to a fantastic deal. So. When that comes back around, I hope I will be ready to make that purchase. For now, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you are thinking about getting new glasses this year, I hope it has been helpful. Uh, as I've said, I am intentionally having a low to know by 2021. And if that's something you think you may be interested in, or if you just want to see how I get on with it, then please do subscribe, hit that alert button, be kind, and I'll see you next time.